All right, let's actually move on from that and talk about roads here in the country. Now, everyone here will agree that we need better roads here in India, if not even more roads across the nation. But one significant roadblock that is standing in the way of uh, constructing more roads is, well, the perennial issue of land acquisitions. Here's only Tom Oja examining this issue. Looks like Road Transport Minister Kamal Nath's vision to construct over 18,000 kilometers of expressways has hit a land block. Like all other road projects, expressways too are not going anywhere thanks to the state agency's inability to acquire land. Expressways require more land than the usual highway projects as expressway projects are of over 800 kilometers each. Yeah, land continues to be an issue and uh, we need to actually also need to follow slightly a different approach, taking the landowners uh, uh, into confidence, maybe they can contribute uh, or they can uh, share in the success of such projects because, uh, you know, we are taking away the huge amount of land which is uh, their means of livelihood. The proposed expressway authority to overlook expressway projects is expected to take over seven months to be set up. The government has identified Delhi Jaipur, Mumbai Vadodara, Chennai Bangalore and Kolkata Dhanbad as expressway projects that will be taken up first. The 18,637 km of expressways are estimated to cost over 3.35 lakh crore rupees. Expressways will be completed in phases by 2022. It is not just land issues that Road Transport Minister Kamal Nath has to address. He also has to take into account investment issues and convince the critics and planners who are questioning the very need for an expressway authority. In New Delhi with Mansi, Oinita Moja Sinha, NDTV Prophet.